Show it to me so I can see it. All right. All right. Hold it still where my camera can see it. 9.060. Right. Okay, so what do I need to set this, you have to set this drum mic? This is a drum micrometer. You have to set this on 9. Okay, and how part. do you set it on 9? I'm confused. All right. Show me in, hold it in your hand. So you got 11, 10, 9, and 8. You, you got 11, 10, and 9, and 8. Yeah, I'll see that. All right, put it on 9, and let's watch you put it on 9. All right. Now, on the other side, you got some more marks. Where is it at? Let me see. Where's 9 on the other side? Tell me that. 9 is right there where I got it at. All right, move eight. it so I can see it. All right, you got it on 9. Okay, go. Yeah, that's, that's 9. Put it on 9. All right, now you now what was your what was your start and measurement on your drum? You talking about the one on here? Yeah. And that 9. was 9.060. 9.060. So you're trying to determine if that drum is bigger. That's the service limit of that drum. Is that right? Okay. Now he's got that on there. Well, explain to me what that nine means. Uh, pull that off her. Show me. Dustin, watch him. All right, 125,000. No, no, wait a minute. You're just on nine now. What does that nine mean? Where is nine? Show me your gauge. You remember how I pull that little trigger on the end? Okay, when you pull that around to where that's at zero. That's, that's nine. When you pull that around where that's at zero, when you got it set on nine, that's nine right there where that zero is. Now let go of it. All right, see how it bent? All right, now put it in the drum, and let's watch the measurements you get. Okay, now move it so that it's at the largest reading you're going to get. See how it goes both ways because you're going on a round drum? Right. All right, what are you reading on there? 40. Let's, let's call it 40. So you got, uh, what's, you got 9 and then you got 40,000. So that's 9.040, right? And what is your drum not supposed to be bigger than? 9.060. 9.060. So you 20,000 under on that one. That drum would be okay, isn't it? Of course, you can look at it and tell it's been machined. All right, now show us how you do it on one that doesn't land exactly on nine. What's the one on that other one? Show me that one over there. That's 9.59. 9.59. Let me get a good look at that. 9.59. There we go, 9.59. All right, now, if it's metric, you got to go to the conversion calculator and change it over to, to inches because this thing right here is a fractional one. All right, now, how did you do it earlier? Because that was a pretty smart way to do it, I thought. Actually, pushed it out. No, actually, he did. he's the one that did it smart over there. He's going to push it out until he's at basically in the range that it's measuring, right? And then he's going to lock that one down. Uh, yeah, when you get it where it's in the range where it'll measure, lock that one down. All right, now we got to look at our scale before we do anything else. Is that, is that giving you measurement there? Yeah. It's in the range, isn't it? Or is it too little still? That's about right there. All right, let me see your, let me see your, uh, your scale here where it is. All right, there's your scale there where it is. So, All right, so let me get a good focus on that. All right, so we actually are how much bigger than nine? How many marks are there? Uh, Each one of those marks is 125 thousandths of an inch. So five times 125. Five times 125 is, do it quick. Six, 625. Six and a quarter, there you go. So this, wait a minute, pull the trigger and tell me what zero is now. That's nine and six and a quarter, isn't it? When you pull that trigger and that needle's at zero, you're at nine and six and a quarter because of the way you set that up. Now put it back down in that drum, and if you're bigger than that, the needle will be on the left side of that zero, okay? Now what are you reading there? It's about a little over 20 thousandths. Yeah, like 25. Well, 30, I'm seeing. You're seeing about 30. Let's just go with 30 on that. 30. So 9 and 6, 25 plus 30 is what? Uh, 9 or 6, 75. No. no. No, 25 and 30 is what? What's 20 and 30? 55. 55, that's right. Don't get, don't get confused. So that's how you do that. Everybody understand that? So you got 55, so yeah, it's good by so, a hair. Huh? It's good by a hair, isn't it? Yeah. All right, now this one over here, let's look at this one. What is it on that one? What's the maximum diameter on that one? Can you read it? Right there is your maximum diameter number. Can you see it? Right, look at it. Look at it right there in relief. Uh, 266.3 or 20, yeah, it looks like 266. Is that 266 or is it is Two, on the other side? 256. 256.3 is what that is. All right. All right. 
Now, that's millimeters. How are you going to change millimeters? Go to the conversion calculator, Dustin, and tell me what 256.3 is in inches. Now, this is an MCO drum micrometer, and for Amber's benefit, I'm going to say it costs $500. Amber loves to hear me quote prices. But usually the reason I do this. Did you have them out of that auction simple? Huh? Did you have them out of that auction simple? I can pull one up. Uh, I mean, when I call them in a minute. Shouldn't be a problem. What did he say about that other part? Uh, he asked me how much it was. I told him he wants to know how much the auction simple is going to be. I'll find out. I'll let you know something. They probably got the auction center in stock. What about it, Dustin? What are you saying on your conversion calculator? How do I get to Go to all data. And then up on the right hand side, when you select a vehicle, you'll see the conversion calculator. Select a vehicle, it don't matter what you select. There you go. To, there it is. See the conversion calculator? All right, now we got 256 link, distance length. All right. <coughs> Two, 256, is that what it said? 256.3? All right, point three, we're going to calculate that. And what's that for inches? 10.09055. 10.09055. Now, on that one, you can set it on 10. Let's do that. We're going to set it on 10. We need to see you do that. Can you show it? Yeah. All right, set it on 10 while I watch. There you go. He's putting both sides on 10. So 10 and 90 thousandths is the, is the maximum pretty much, isn't it? All right. Now he's got that set on 10 on both sides, and you can do that because it's real close to 10 anyway. All right, now see what you're reading on there. Just go out a little bit, huh? You're going to have to go out a little bit because that drum has been machined too far. All right, push it out to where you're in the range where it's measuring. That's good enough. Lock it down. Each one of those little notches you see on that tool is 125 thousandths of an inch. All right, wait a, now, wait a minute. Now pull it up and let's see where you are on your scale. Let's look at your scale. How far above 10 are you on that scale? Uh, 125 thousandths. So you're just basically one mark, which is 125. Okay, so that's 10 and 125. We already know this drum's out of spec, don't we? Uh -huh. We already know it. So let's see what it actually is. All right. 25. 10, 125 plus what? Plus 30? What's 10 and 125 plus 30? 10. 155, right? Yeah. So that's how you read that thing. Anybody got any questions or comments about that? Everybody happy?